Hey guys, Eric here from Legacy Training Group. I'm here with Alex from Top Guns. What are we doing today, Alex? You know, we went through a couple different videos and today I think that the best thing we could do is teach everybody the easiest way to draw a firearm. Sure. So I'm gonna have you go in and teach everybody from start to finish how to draw and reholster a firearm. I think that's the easiest way to get back to the basics. You bet. All right guys, let's get going. Guys, I want to enforce upon you how important it is to go slow, especially in the beginning when you start working with your draw stroke, okay? Let's go. So, first thing we want to do when we go through a proper draw stroke is establish our grip while the firearm is still in the holster. So I want to come down, establish my grip high on the back strap like I normally would. You'll notice my right elbow is back rather than in and out position. Also, pay attention to my trigger finger. I've exaggerated it out of the way from the firearm, and that's just not the purpose of this video. I do this every time I draw a firearm. So our draw stroke will look something like this. Now, once we need to reholster our firearm, please, especially in the beginning, look your firearm back down into the holster and pay attention to where your trigger finger's at. It's got to be out of the way from the firearm, okay? This is a proper way to do it. This is an incorrect way to do it, and I want you to understand why. If I were to have my finger on the trigger of this firearm when I'm reholstering, my finger is going to come into contact with my holster and cause pressure back up on the trigger, and I think you understand what will happen then. Bad place to be. Okay guys, here we go start to finish, and I'm going to do this slow. So our weak hand will come into the chest just so we've got this guy out of the way. We're going to establish a grip on our firearm, keeping my trigger finger out of way from the holster. You notice my right elbow is tucked back. I draw my firearm, as soon as I clear the holster, I want to go level with the barrel of my firearm. I could break a shot here if I had to in an extremist situation. Not the ideal situation, but sometimes you have to do what you have to do. Okay? From here, all I want to do is punch the firearm out, bringing my weak hand up to establish my grip before the gun is all the way out. So as the gun is presented out, I'm bringing my weak hand on, establishing my grip, and bang, I'm ready to fire. Now let's talk about that reholster again. Once again, trigger finger out away from the trigger. Straight down, I'm looking my gun into my holster. A couple things you want to stay away from when you present the firearm out. One is what we call the rainbow technique, and the other is the bowling pin technique, or as you're rolling a bowling ball. They look like this. I'll show you the bowling technique first, where I draw my gun, and I come up underneath in an arc. That's not, that's not very effective. Okay. And you will know my name is the Lord when I lay my Not very effective. upon thee. Yeah. Number two is what we call the rainbow technique. It looks something like this. So unless you're starring in a 1980s police movie, stay away from those two techniques, please. All right, Eric, I hope everybody learned a little bit of how to draw a firearm and reholster. Now, if they want to take a class with you or just get a hold of us, how can they do that? They can sign up for classes online, go to topguns.us and click on the courses tab, or they can leave us a message on Facebook. Yeah, check out anything on our, any of our social media platforms, Instagram, Facebook, or right here on YouTube, and leave a comment down below, guys. Thank you again for watching, and if you have anything else you'd like for us to cover, don't hesitate to comment. See you next time.